everyone, welcome to Ra Robotics YouTube. I am Naili. In the previous video, we have shown you how visual components assist you in designing your FMS layout. So, here is the second part of the video as we promised. We will show you how visual components is capable to design any type of layouts, including all five types of FMS layout. We'll start with the first layout, which is a linear layout. Linear layout is the simplest form of layout. The machine and handling are arranged in a straight line where part progress from one workstation to another in a well-defined sequence. Workpiece always moving in one direction and know the flow in the system. Next, we look to the second type of layout, that is loop layout. Workstation organized around the conveyor or part handling system in a loop form. Usually flow in one direction around the loop with capability to stop and be transferred to any station within the loop. The loading and unloading station are typically located at one end of the loop. The third layout is ladder layout. The workstation located around the loop with cross section between the straight section. The cross section increases the possible power for the workpiece to move between the workstation and also reduce the travel distance of the workpiece. And same with loop layout, the loading and unloading stations located at the same end. The sequence to the operation of parts from one machine to another is in the form of ladder steps. Next is open field layout. This is the most complex layout. It consists of multiple loops and ladder organized to achieve processing requirements. Usually used for processing large family parts. Routing of workpiece is in multi-direction and complex sequence. Workpiece usually move between the workstation by using AGV. The loading and unloading station is typically located at the same end. Last but not least is the robot center layout. It, it is used one or more robots as material handler to load and unload the workpiece into the processing machine. Usually arranged in circular layout around the robot. So it is easy for the robot to load and unload to and from the machine. So these are the five types of FMS layout. From here you could see that with visual components, you can design any type of layout easily and analyze the production virtually which could help you in designing your reality layout before implementing them. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for bi-weekly update. Thank you and bye-bye.